These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Frank 26 Iraq Boots on the Ground Report Firefly. Iran has been using some of Iraq's banks to get around the sanctions and to profit off of the dollar. Now the U.S. Treasury is here and stopping it. Frank says, yeah, they are extremely angry because they lost their sugar daddy. They lost the CBI auctions. They will figure out other ways to steal. The power of corrupt political people in your country is being suffocated. That power is dying. It's going from those corrupt people back to you, Iraqi citizens, through a monetary reform that will give you purchasing power. All right, Claire, article quote, the Iraqi stock exchange achieves positive results in light of the major accelerating collapse of global stock exchanges. Uh, another quote, the Iraqi stock exchange, unlike the world, achieved positive results for the state, unlike the data of Arab, Arab and international stock exchanges, indicating that the stock exchange in Iraq operates in a business environment that is almost separate from international markets. Let's see, uh, moving on here to Claire article quote, the governor of the central bank submits a request to be relieved of his post quote, the governor of the central bank, Ali al Alak submitted a request to the relevant authorities to relieve him of his position. All right, Jeff says Iraq was talking about doing their census in the month of November. They pushed it up to the month of October. All right, Breitling says the United States is trying to influence Iraq to do the right thing. Hopefully they will do it. Everything will be hunky-dory. Well, the reality is, in my opinion, if the CBI had that influence, it would have been done already. That's the problem. That's why I'm in the neutral zone. It sucks because I put my heart and soul into this. Don't think for a minute. I don't feel it because I do. This could mess up the timeline and push it back maybe even permanently, if Iraq can't handle these financial problems. All right, and lastly, Caperoni says the Iraqi dinar is a currency of the country. It's not a lottery ticket. There is no magical RV. Owning dinar is risky, which may strengthen over time, but it's a long-term investment. 